Today I'm joined by Vladimir Putin. Mr. Putin, what claim do you have on the territory in Ukraine which you've invaded? Our borders are a complicated and detailed issue. It all started in 862 when Russia celebrated the 1000th anniversary of its statehood. In 882, Yuruk's successor, Prince Ulrich, came to Kiev and he ousted two brothers who once were members of his squad. So Russia developed its two powers, Kiev and Novgorod. Mr. President, what's your plan moving forward for the border? Border... Uh, the, uh, oh, um, the country south of the border is, uh, called, uh, uh, Egypt. We got, uh, Egypt, man. <laughs> I don't know you get that one, man. They've invaded me. A peace treaty was signed. Under Catherine the Great, they regained Russian territory, but the Austrian staff pushed the idea of Ukrainian independence and national identity to weaken the country such that- All right, Mr. President, we have the southern border, and the country we share with it is called- I know you can get this. It's called- Oh, oh, the Garden of Sweden, man. Excuse me? <clears throat> Close, close. No, that's close, Joe. Okay. And after the revolution, the RSFSR started having conflict with Poland again. And peace with Poland was declared, but Western Ukraine was given to Poland. Poland had a treaty of friendship partitioning Czechoslovakia, so that- Try again, because we know you have this. We have a border. At the border. We got all those aliens pouring in from Egypt, man. The aliens are coming in from Egypt? Hmm. That doesn't sound right. Of course they are. Who'd you think built the pyramids? Some white guy named Edison? Crimea and Besebaria and parts of Hungary was given to the Ukrainian SSR due to the policy of indigenization. After the USSR collapsed, all of the territory we kindly bestowed on the Ukrainian SSR was taken by the Ukrainian independent state. Okay, Joe, Mexico, Mexico! From the river to the sea, man. Oh, he's thinking foreign policy. That's good, that's good. Let's give him a softball. Uh, Mr. President, how do you respond to the accusation that our ally Israel is an apartheid state? Nah, Israel's not an apartment state, man. They own that place. An apartheid state. Nah, man, they're full-time. I, I, I don't think you understand. No! What you don't understand is that Israel's an apartheid state, man! Those... The poor Mexicanians have been living under it for ages. Let my people go, fat. Is there anything more corrosive to our democracy than Putin speaking? Uh... Daddy, Daddy Papa. Become a member at freedomtunes.com for exclusive cartoons.